Hello everyone, welcome you all. Today I am going to discuss about the defect report or an issue report. So this is the most important in software testing. So whether we are testing any application, whether it may be mobile application, web application, web service applications or a performance or in security. So we should log a defect. That defect should be in a proper format and should uh, follow all the procedures. So we have different procedures in different tools like uh, Jira, Workflow, Rally. So we have many other tools. So every tool has some common features or we can say some common options. So I will share you few of them in this uh, session. So let's get started. So I will explain in Excel. So any issue, whether it may be any issue that requires an ID so which is an id so for example if i can give id as so issue 001 so it's a generic uh, id i'm giving so it may be differs uh, based on the test management tool if it is a jira or if it is an uh, uh, workflow or if it is in a dev rally so it differs based on our uh, usage of the application and this is a uh, a unique identifier so it is not a common for all the defects every defect should has a unique identity or we can say unique identifier so and next option is project so this deals about which project we are working on so for example I will say gmail application so this is application I am trying to test or I am trying to verify okay and next thing the product so which is the product so I'm verifying the Gmail application so it's a product of Google and next we have other option called release version So this release version is nothing but whenever we are targeting any application development so we might have a, a number of releases like release 1 uh, takes 3 months of time release 2 takes 6 months of time so we will assign 1-1 one, one release so I can say release 1 generally these releases are uh, like a, a series of 4 sprints so every release like sprint of 4 so one release equals to four sprints and we have a model we call module so which module so which module uh, in release one it is going so in a gmail application it's used to send emails and receive and also we can send attachments and also we can use uh, charts in that application we can use the google drive option we can see the personal emails in boxes so all these options are consist in a gmail application so release one is targeting to which module so i will say login module and next we have detected build version or we can say build detected build or we can say detected build version so it is nothing but so I am logging an issue so that issue is detected in which version so or we can say which build of deployment so in release or we can say per day developer may release more than one deployments into a test environment so I need to know in which deployment that defect got introduced so I will say version some 7 or 5.9 any version so i'm giving a generic version here and this this talks about exactly so which version has an issue so next version we have title so this title talks about the application description or we can say the summary of an application i mean a defect so for example my defect is in the login page only so when i'm trying to login with a invalid user and invalid password is still taking me into the the home page so it's an issue over there so we need to write that title so 
login issue with invalid data so this is my title and next the description or we can say steps we need to provide right so I can say description or we can say steps to reproduce so it has like we need to provide a steps to debug the issue so which if that issue is being assigned to any developer they need to understand how we have traversed to generate that issue so this is most important we need to provide the options so for example I will say I will launch application URL in test environment then after I will say then I will say uh, entered invalid user and password details and three Clicked or submitted the application, or I can say clicked on login button. So, this is my steps, and next option is we need to provide actual and expected, so that is most important. So, I will say actual results. So what is my actual result? So my actual result should be it should throw me an validation issue. So I mean to say and the actual issue is what I am facing right now. So expected is will be a validation issue. So my actual issue is uh, actual result should be logged into gmail app so my expected is so my expected result should be validation error so what should my validation error is invalid user or password entered so this should be my validation error right now we have another option is called attachment so we need to attach the attachment to give more information to the developer to understand what is actually displaying on the UI so this most important that we need to attach a screenshot for sure so here we can attach any screenshot like test image I will say test image dot png so you can attach any image here so in place of this attachment and next we will have an option called the defect probability or we can say occurrence of defect defect probability I can say how many times I am facing this uh, error so sometimes what it happen it might be intermittent issue it will uh, it will occur only once in a blue moon so it will not occur every time so that we need to understand how many times that we can reproduce this issue so if it is happening every time so that is an high high priority issue and if it is occurring only once at blue moon then that is not a much concentrated area to developer so we need to provide this occurrence I will say four out of five times I am facing this issue so it means it's an high CVRT issue and next we, ha we have CVRT and priority so there is a confusion between the CVRT and priority so they will understand that uh, tester should give the uh, priority and CVRT while creating any defect so current situation is like this so every tester is like a product owner too 
so some people are uh, work as a product owner and they will verify the uh, quality assurance of an application so they will provide both areas so generally any tester who is logging a defect they have a full control on the severity so they can provide the severity so they have severity like blocker critical highest medium low so these kind of pre uh, severities that we can give and same like same for priority as well so as a tester you need to provide severity and you can provide a medium priority so based on developer availability or we can say based on the severity they will change the priority but they cannot touch the severity so severity is full in control of testers only so we can provide this as a high priority issue high severity and high priority so if developer wants to change this priority they can change the priority based on their uh, work uh, working hours or we can say based on their if you uh, uh, the workload and next we have reported by so reported by is also very important because whoever is logging a defect they should have a reported by so current current uh, we have like uh, test management tools like the jira or dev rally or workflow they will have by default whoever is logging a defect they will have a reported by sometimes what it happen sometimes people may report this defect and they will uh, give it in the excel format so in that cases we need to provide a reported by so i will say raj so the person who is reported by is raj kumar and next we have assigned to assigned to will be uh, given to so we are reported a defect and we need to assign this defect to so and so developer or so and so person so we need to provide that person name or automatically some tools will automatically pick one of the developer if that is not picking up then we need to provide uh, assigned to i will say developer one and we have status so here we need to provide so status so whenever we are opening any defect that defect will be in a to-do list or it may be open so in test management tools it will be an to-do list to do so in some uh, in some cases it will be in open so defect open then it will goes to in progress then it goes to testing then it goes to done so this is all the phases or status that defect needs to be encountered and then we can say if this defect is been fixed in so and so build version we can say we can provide that uh, build also here i mean that option also but that is not much needed and another option it is epic so epic is must whenever we are logging in a defect so this epic talks about the login feature of the entire gmail so this is my epic and then after under login we have uh, segregated in different test cases but we need to uh, map this to a epic so epic is must i will say login page epic so because whenever we see a uh, defect report on a high level so we can understand that so login page has reported this many defects so that will understand by so using a epic option and next we will have an issue or we can say user story issue details or so it is point we need to point this defect to any user story that is must required we need to use it epic and you need we need to use the user story also so to understand the traceability of the defect so traceability is one of the uh, most important topic that we will uh, share in the next upcoming tutorials but uh, you need to understand the traceability so on a high level how can we ensure that these many defects are logged into this user story this epic so that is must i will say user story i will say login login module okay and next we have additional assignees or we can say additional people or watchers or whoever wants to get an update on this defects so we can provide that additional assignee so this will uh, like generally we used to keep additional assignee as a, a test lead and dev lead so they need to get updates so we have logged this issue you will you will get an updates on this defect based on the updates made by qa and developers we can say 
test lead or dev lead so this is the this is about how the defect report look like so these are all options that we need to follow when we are trying to report any defect so these are mandatory options so here this is an excel i am using so we need to uh, give an attachment in case uh, you wanted to attach any screenshot so that will play a major role in the defect so on uh, high level or we can say so what all major options or major uh, options that we need to uh, give in a defect report if you wanted to pre give it in a precise way so that options are project and id so these options are must required so these option are must must required and title is also must required and steps to reproduce is also must required and these actual expected attachment and we you have this priority and you have this reported by assignee and user story so if you wanted to give on high level or you can make it a shorter then you need to provide these options so these are the highlighted option that you need to provide and if you wanted to follow entire process then you need to follow all these options so this is an must required options to select for any defect report as part of sdlc or stlc models i hope this session is very useful for you in case if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions on this session you can do post in the comment section thank you for watching Thank mm -hmm. you.